this is an uh, uh, inspiration. This shows that people power can make a difference. You know, whether it's warm, whether it's cold, if there's an injustice being perpetrated continuously, then it's on us to make the difference. It's on us to stand up, to come out, and to say no more. If you continue to give John Burge his pension, That's right. even yeah. though he's been convicted yeah. and sent to the penitentiary, then surely we who have been tortured, you can give us a few crumbs. We're not asking you for 10 million apiece, even though we deserve even more than that. Sure. Right. Even yeah. The hell that we went through you know, being locked up for over 24 and a half years like I was, wasn't a piece of cake. Me being in Tam Supermax for over nine years before I got my freedom was not a piece of cake. People in Tam Supermax was killing themselves, was trying to commit suicide because they could not stand being isolated the way that they were. How I survived, I can only say that it was through the grace of God and through the spirit of my mother and my grandmother. Shay. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and because of them and because of all of you, uh, I'll continue uh, to speak out. I'll continue to be a survivor. I'll continue to be a staunch supporter of anyone who's against injustice. Because Dr. King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Same. We here make the difference. Look at all these beautiful people out here in this cold weather tonight. You could have been home, but instead you're lending your physical support to say, no more. We're here to say, Mr. Mayor, we do make a difference. We do. And we've shown you in the primaries, and we'll show you at election time. Unless you speak up now and let us know exactly where you're coming from concerning reparations and the injustices that have existed in Chicago, unless you speak out forcefully, unless you come up with a viable plan in order to enact. The, re the, 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 the resolution that's been up here for reparations, then Mr. Mayor, you can have a seat. <laughs> right. You'll be with, you'll be with uh, the president. The president got a couple more years that he's in retirement. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you used to work for the president. You can be in retirement now. <laughs> it's on you. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen this year, not next year and sometime in the future. Because as we know, the future is not promising anyone. So on that note, I would say, please, all you beautiful people, never stop loving me, never stop loving those who are still in prison, who haven't had a voice to speak. I speak for them. Anytime I'm before you, I'm speaking for them. It's never about Daryl Cannon. It's about all of us. And until all of us can be satisfied and content that justice has finally prevailed, then we will be here for this cold or hot. Thank you. Yeah.